this is Blanca Fiori. I would like to introduce the theme for our January sample packs, going to our subscribers first and then eventually available to anyone uh, from our website. For January we picked aldehydes, a material which represents the cold air with the months very well. We've all smelled aldehydes in so many uh, things. We probably just didn't know these were aldehydes. Aldehydes, uh, there are lots of molecules which belong to that family. You smell aldehydes when you smell Chanel number no. 5. You smell aldehydes when you smell jasmine, magnolia, uh, tuberose. They're called aldehyde flower, aldehydic flowers. You smell aldehydes when you smell nail polish or paint. You smell aldehydes when you smell leather. So aldehydes are nature's agents to preserve tissue. Hence formaldehyde belongs to the same family and we use it for exactly that purpose. We put tissue in and it stays there forever. White flowers uh, use aldehydes uh, to preserve the beautiful bloom, which a plant would use a lot of energy and effort to produce. People who produce leather use those compounds to naturally preserve leather and stop the processes of decay within the product. So, in perfume, very similar logic um, uh, applies to what can be considered an aldehydic formula. So you would have beautiful opulent floral formulas which smell aldehydic. For the pack we picked Mai, which is a classic aldehydic shaper in the lines of Chanel No. 5. We also picked uh, Fleur de Louis, which, although it doesn't have a lily in, all the ingredients, and there are some aldehydes in the formula, just combine into that heady, white, quite strong and cold uh, flower. We also picked a couple of leathers, Ducalis from uh, Angela Campagna which is a very good example of a cold, aldehyde, smooth, suede-like leather. We picked um, Archive 69 from Etat Libre d'Arange for exactly the same reason. It has aldehydes, but not because it's a leather or a floral or any other perfume but because perfumers wanted to use aldehydes, that's one of the uses which isn't really the nature's way of using aldehydes, but the human's way to, to use this molecule. Play with it conceptually. In some formulas, aldehydes might represent uh, an accord of an icy vodka shot. In this particular perfume, aldehydes are used for mischief, because it's their signature fragrance and at that time are about breaking rules and causing all sorts of perfume mischief. In Archive 69 they uh, combine the uncombinable, the warm and the extremely cold materials, the sweet and the bitter. So it's a very contrasting uh, blend and aldehydes are there to create contrast with something of an entirely different character, one of a kind this perfume. Also we have a green perfume, very often stems of uh, flowers or um, green leaves, they have aldehydes in them uh, for preserving the tissue of the plant. And panda, even though aldehydes are not listed in the formula, smells very aldehyde, very sharp, very, uh, uh, imagine you snap uh, a stock of a um, peony, 
and that sap which uh, bursts out. This is what panda smells like. Also, usually in our packs, we often we always include uh, a new addition to our portfolio, a recent release, uh, or something from the brand we took on recently. And in January, we will be featuring All Unknown by Imaginary Offers. Also, it will be a good way to rest your nose after you've smelled all those quite challenging, because aldehydes are one of the most challenging materials out there for being sharp chemically. Um, and just weird sometimes. And All Unknown is a very relaxed, comforting, soft, sweet blend made of iris, uh, nuances of vanilla, soft woods. So it's a good way to relax once you've gone through everything else in the pack. And as we often do, we will include a sample of raw material, a mix of aldehydes, which is safe to put on your skin so you can smell material on its own, study it and uh, sort of get it in your memory as a perfume ingredient. And once you're familiar with it, you can start going through the formulas and you'll be able all of a sudden recognize it in a very um, distinct way and then you can switch back to uh, smelling the formula as a wall. So these packs are for people who are curious about perfumery, who want to know how a certain material smells on its own and how perfumers use it. There you go. You can subscribe on our website and receive 12 packs within a year. So every month it's a new theme. And once all subscribers have received their packs, we release the pack for anyone. It's a bit more expensive if you buy them on their own and you have to pay for postage. Whereas if you subscribe for 12, uh, there's no postage fee and each pack, each pack would be around 10 pounds. It's 120 for a year. So thank you.